Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I will be creating three Easter DIY signs. Uh, some are from trash to treasure items. Um, some are just uh, out of uh, what I had at home. And I will also be using my Cricut machine. So for this very first one, I picked this up at Goodwill for $4, actually at Value Village for $4. And uh, obviously it does not suit my style, but I had an idea for it, so I went with it. So I paint um, the whole uh, frame and the inside with a white chalk paint, and then I paint the little squares with black acrylic paint. I had finally picked up this tool that takes off tags without any trouble and it worked really really well uh, taking the sticky sticky stickers the, the price tags off um, I if you watch me you know I struggle with these price tags as price stickers especially on dollar store items all the time so over on my home channel, a couple weeks ago, I had shared all my decor plans for spring and Easter and I kind of did an unboxing of all of my decor and realized that I was lacking on some signs. I love decorating with signs, using them throughout my house uh, for different seasons or just all year long and this is one item that I had almost none uh, when it came to spring so I wanted to add some decor some some of this spring decor um, item to my decor so here I am making them up so like I said I paint these uh, with two coats of a black acrylic paint So then I move on painting the border and the inside and I paint that with uh, white chalk paint. Um, originally I was going to leave the border and the inside, so the border I was going to leave white and the inside I was just going to leave brown but then I wasn't loving the way that looked so I ended up um, painting the inside as well with white. But then once I was finished painting that with white I wasn't overly crazy with the having the white border as well so I end up painting that uh, with some brown and black as well as the white paint I do use a dry brushing technique to add a brown and black paint. Uh, if you don't know what the dry brushing technique is, it is when you dip your paintbrush into the paint and then you take almost all of it off and dry brush it so your brush is almost dry and gently without much pressure you brush, brush it on. And then I follow the same th technique with both the brown paint, the black paint, and then I just go over it and soften it up with a little bit of the same white that was on the bottom. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, I would love it if you consider pressing the subscribe button and a notification bell so that way you can uh, not miss out on any of my future DIY videos. I do dollar store 
DIYs, trash to treasure up cycles as well as furniture makeovers over here on the channel and different types of DIY home decor videos um, three times a week uh, or plus maybe even more so make sure you that notification bell is on as well so you don't miss out my new uploads so for the little squares I was using my Cricut machine and I have added these um, designs I uh, got them off of the uh, Cricut access um, and just uh, cutting them out on just plain white vinyl and then I'm using obviously a transfer ta tape to transfer them onto the little squares uh, I am I always say that this so I am not so new but fairly new to Cricut and just discovering all the different possibilities that are available on it it is so exciting for me uh, I tend to because I don't use it all the time sometimes I forget the steps and uh, have to remind myself of different uh, steps of going through uh, cutting vinyl and transferring the vinyl and all that stuff so um, bear with me while I get this vinyl off and then weed it through and then transfer it on to the little squares So while I was uh, doing this, my camera died, but I also uh, didn't wait long enough and some of the paint started to peel off, so I had to touch it up with uh, the acrylic paint, but only for the middle one. The, the other ones worked really well. I do love how the white uh, looks uh, in contrast with uh, the black paint. Um, I think it looks very uh, farmhouses, I guess, and the way the the dry brushing on that frame looks, it just um, makes it so rustic, in my opinion. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Do you, are you getting that rustic farmhouse feel? Now, I originally wanted to cut this out with on the orange vinyl, but I couldn't find vinyl that was orange I'm sure there is some it's just Michaels didn't have it and then our Dollar Tree just started to to sell the Cricut vinyl as well and they had yellow green and blue and red but they did not have orange so I ended up taking my permanent marker and just coloring it in the orange I think it just gives the sign that pop of color and I love the way the carrots turned out with the orange um, marker and then I just fill in the leaves with the green permanent marker. I wanted to make that uh, carrot um, sale sign so that is what I'm doing and for the writing I am using a chalk uh, marker. So here is the sign. I absolutely love the way it turned out. I think it's going to look great and match my Easter decor and spring decor perfectly. Now moving on to the next project. I have had this sign for a little while and I am not a huge fan of glitter so I thought I could uh, repurpose this sign. So first thing first is I use my sanding block to remove as much glitter as possible just so it's not glittering up my paint. Yeah. 
Once I was uh, done sanding, I give both sides two coats, well, the, this side I do two coats of paint and then the other side I only do one. The reason for that is this one has the design and instead of painting, because it was fairly light, otherwise I would have painted it black first and then white, but I was able to cover it up with two coats of uh, white paint and I'm using the Annie Sloan original to, uh, paint, it, um, to paint the board. With the second coat, on the other side, I went um, just one coat, and the co that coat wasn't like a full coat. It did. Sh I let. I wanted to show as much of that brown. Um, it's not wood. Uh, it is. Um, uh, what is a chipboard? To show through. And again, I'm using my design space to uh, create a design and uh, cutting out my vinyl on that design. The design that I actually, uh, that design that I cut out, I actually designed it myself using items uh, or um, images that I already had. For me, transferring images onto any any um, surface, it's so satisfying. It's almost as satisfying as uh, removing a stencil once you are finished stenciling. I just love the way things end up looking once I'm actually able to remove this off the trans transfer tape. So I also had a, um, it said established in 2021 on there, but um, because the letters were so small, I did not realize they did not transfer on, so I ended up just writing them down on with the marker. So here it is. I absolutely love the way it turned out. Again, very rustic, very farmhouse. So for this last one, I have had this stained a piece of wood for a while. I'm not quite sure what was on it, but I wanted to make these this bunny sign. I'm sure you guys seen them on Pinterest. Uh, I almost every time I search up Easter signs, it pops up. So I am using a water-based all-surface marker to draw an outline of a half a bunny. So that uh, just so that way I don't go uh, with paint right away this will be my outline
Once I was happy with the outline, I go in and fill in with that same um, Annie Sloan original chalk paint. And I do a very light coat because I want some of that stain to show through. Now what I did find with the brush that I was using, it was a great brush to angle, get the angles, but in order to paint it, I kind of had to go over it in the same direction because otherwise it was leaving um, kind of like stopping points, which I wasn't crazy about. Once it was done and had some time to dry, I go in with a permanent marker and just draw on a mouth, whiskers and eyes and then I paint on a nose with just a bubble bu I think it's called bubblegum pink, um, acrylic paint. And then the last thing that I do is I hot glue the uh, ribbon to the neck. And the ribbon that I'm using uh, did come from Dollar Tree. I really love the different um, ribbons they've had for uh, Easter right now. Um, they had this one in green and white and they also had a pink one, pink and white. And then they also had a thicker ribbon with a pink, white, blue, and yellow, I think, stripes. Um, I did do a Instagram video of my haul from the Dollar Tree, so if you want to check out um, what I got, when I got those ribbons, you can do so on, on my Instagram page, which is linked in the description box. Here he is, I think he looks so cute and so fun and I'm debating whether I should put him on my front porch. Well I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. It's all right.